Okay, it's 12.05 a.m. Monday morning. The contest is officially over now. And the last person to participate was Wayne Nemec one hour ago. And it looks like there were 76 comments on here. I'm guessing half of them were from me as I responded to your answering the four questions I had asked. And I really enjoyed the interactive nature of this particular contest and found your responses to my questions to be very interesting and enlightening. Uh, let's see what the first question was um, about backyard bugs, pet bugs, bug trick videos. What is your favorite to watch of those? And I was actually very surprised to hear that uh, overwhelmingly people enjoyed the pet bug care videos more than the uh, Arizona trip videos. I like taking the trips and I guess when I'm making the videos, it brings back all of the memories of me encountering these bugs that I don't normally see through the course of my daily business. And also, I'm hanging out with my friends during those times. And so I was surprised because I enjoy those videos so much, making them, piecing them together. But it really does make sense because many of you know me because of the business that I run and are pet bug uh, keepers yourselves. And I have been answering questions since even before I put my website up about pet bug care. So I do know and I do understand that even my own website is very lacking in terms of information about the perfect care for so many of these things. And while it may be rather obvious to me that, for example, all of the desert beetles like the darkling beetles and the death feigning beetles of various species that I offer through the website, all of those things have the exact same care. I know for a lot of people, they really want it spelled out very simply for them so that they can, before they make a purchase and um, start to care for a new pet, they want to completely understand how to take care of it properly. And that's the responsible and right thing to do. And the second question was, have you ever kept a pet, uh, a bug as a pet? And to name at least one. And um, I really enjoyed hearing uh, the variety of responses to that question, as well as to the other, the third question about how people found my YouTube channel. No surprise that a lot of people come from Instagram or my website. It was neat to hear that a person or two found me through Aquarimax here on YouTube, another channel that I really like. Russ over there is wonderful and did a video recently about the care for desert beetles that was masterfully done, if I may say so. Um, and then the, uh, I think a couple people said they had sort of randomly, at least one person said they randomly found me on YouTube, which is kind of neat because for me that's the hardest group of people to reach are people who are on YouTube but have no familiarity with me through other YouTubers or other social media platforms or through my business, which has been around for uh, almost as long as the internet. <laughs> uh, and then the fourth question, what is, the, uh, is a memorable moment with you and Bugs? And that was by far my favorite uh, of the four questions to read answers to. Uh, a lot of sentimental stories for people and I really enjoyed um, just the uh, how personal those stories were and um, you know I have so many of my own memories and you know I have a sentimental nature sort of in general and to read about childhood experiences and family relationships and memories that were built around insects. It's, it's been such a big part of my life. So 
it's really neat to, um, you know, see that same sort of experience set and basis for other people. And so that was a lot of fun and I liked it a lot. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to copy this URL up here. I think I have a few too many characters in that URL because it was picking it on the basis of a timestamp partway into the video. Anyway, I have the URL now and I'm going to pop it over here onto this YouTube random comment picker. And what we're doing here is we are drawing. Uh, there was only one winner for the contest this week. I sort of took a week off, as you guys probably noticed. I've been pushing myself a lot lately here on YouTube and neglecting a little bit my Instagram uh, followers. I've got 79,000 followers over there on Instagram. And for the last couple of years, they got the bulk of my extra time. And uh, I started TikTok, uh, I don't know how many months ago, not too long ago, but I have uh, 40 some thousand or so um, followers on that platform as well. And uh, I've really been working hard on YouTube because I uh, can, it's more interactive in a way, even though I don't have a lot of followers yet. And so, you know, the number of people to interact with is a little bit lower. It really allows me to put a lot of time into it and to make longer videos and um, to show you guys more things and to share my experience with you guys in a way that the other platforms don't allow for. So anyway, I'm going to pop this uh, link in here and um, it's going to filter out the duplicate users here and it's going to tell us how many people actually participated in this contest. And it says that there were 29 of you who answered those questions. And um, I'm gonna scroll down here next, and there's the start button. Oh, there's, there's a lot going on on the screen here. <laughs> uh, so what it does here is filters through them all and picks somebody, and this is gonna be our first place person and the only winner this week. And that person is Miles Hill, who uh, told the story about the dairy cow isopods reproducing, and that was his uh, memorable moment, uh, the baby dairy cow isopods. And he has an assortment of isopods, Madagascar hissing roaches, a desert hairy scorpion, and some blue death feeding beetles. And he likes the pet care videos and he found my YouTube channel through Instagram. No surprise there. So, Miles, you are the winner. Please contact me. Um, I'm probably, even though it's Monday, super early in the morning right now, I'm probably going to post this video on Tuesday. And um, somewhere hiding later in this video, I'm also going to select one more winner, not right now, but before I upload this video on Tuesday. And I'm going to hide that winner for a second place prize um, somewhere in the video. And there's a very good chance that that winner may not ever know that they won unless they watch the entire video. But as an incentive, I guess, for the people who do watch my videos from beginning to end, and I do not blame you guys at all if you do not watch <laughs> the longer videos. I think somebody, who was it? D, D said, <laughs> and um, I quote, <laughs> she said that sometimes she falls asleep during my videos. <laughs> and uh, where was it? Oh, it's pulling up the wrong things pulling up the word deep and everything because it doesn't load the whole page here. <laughs> anyway, I thought that was really funny that she said sometimes she falls asleep during the videos. And uh, I've heard that about my voice before, especially on Instagram, that I have a very soothing voice. And um, of course my, uh, oh, here it is. The longer ones may take me extra time to get through since I have to start, stop, accidentally fall asleep. <laughs> 
you know the perks of working the third shift. So she wasn't saying that I was boring at all. She was just saying that she does sometimes fall asleep because she works an odd uh, shift at work. And I know exactly how that is because for a year or two, I worked from about midnight until about eight in the morning. And uh, that was the roughest year or so of my life, especially trying to drive home. I could never adjust to that sleep schedule and my daughter uh, my youngest, she was extremely young at that point. That was a very rough year. And so I know what you mean, Dee. I'm just giving you, giving you a hard time. Um, but uh, yeah, I don't, I don't blame anybody if you don't uh, watch them through. But I know that some of you do. And so I'm going to throw up another prize here. So keep your eyes and ears open for that. And uh, Dee, wake up. <laughs> Thank you, guys. So just real quick, the remainder of this video is just sort of an explanation for how I spend my Sundays. I thought some of you, uh, some of you may be aspiring uh, bug dealers. A lot of my customers end up raising things and then having offspring and either selling them back to me or they sell them out through Facebook groups or forums or, you know, Instagram or wherever. Um, a lot of my customers are already dealers who raise things. A lot of my customers are people who uh, resell the material at reptile shows or breed it uh, to sell the offspring at reptile shows. And so I just thought that some of you might be interested to see how I spend my Sundays. Um, really the process begins on Saturday when I start reviewing orders that were placed Thursday through Saturday. And because all of my orders from Thursday to Sunday ship on Monday or Tuesday. And so uh, you'll see what I did with my, uh, my order shipping out Monday as you watch the rest of this video. But I have a stack of invoices here for orders that will ship out on Tuesday. In addition to any orders that come in on Monday, those always ship on Tuesday as well. And so I thought you guys might like to see um, you know, what, what my day is like and uh, how, you know, there isn't a lot of glory, even though a lot of people think that I have the best job in the world. Um, and certainly I do <laughs> think that myself, but uh, they probably think that it's a lot about just hands-on bug stuff all the time. But no, I'm, I'm sitting in front of this computer most of the time and um, I only walked you through maybe, you know, four hours of what I did today here at the computer.
So this is Eliotti's Armada. You see that it is armed there with spikes on its back femora, that section of the legs there in the middle. One of the larger darkling species that we see in the hobby. Also up there at the front legs, so I nearly knock my tripod down. You see the same spikes. And they are on the middle set of legs as well. I'm going to pop our mascot for this video up here on my hat for a moment. And what we're going to do here in this hidden part of the video is select another random winner for a free issue of Invertebrates magazine. At the beginning of this video, I referred to this as the hidden contest within the contest. And so we're going to come in here to the random number picker. And it's going to say that there are 29 people who participated in this contest and the winning person for this issue of Invertebrates Magazine is Benjamin Gravetto. Thank you very much for playing, Benjamin. You had mentioned your most uh, memorable moment here was when you lost your first mantis. I remember her moving, sitting on my hand, looking right at me. Although sad, this really opened my eyes to the bug world. And that was a really uh, moving moment for me too in reading your account of your mantis dying there in your hand and um you know it it passing away there in your hand and um you looking at it and um, it looking back at you um so thank you for sharing that with all of us uh, one here has garden beetles uh, some isopods and a millipede species and this one isopods millipedes and this one mantis fruit fly culture we got an antlion larva and a stag beetle larva you guys saw the antlion video i think uh, i uploaded that on friday and uh, this one here is a, a beetle this one here, a giant vinegar room discounted. And so sometimes I have imperfect vinegar rooms that I offer at a discounted rate. It looks like this one's about $7 off, simply because it's missing a little bit, I think, of one of the modified legs, the feelers. They also got a tarantula, which is shipping by priority mail, I might add, but they're in a warm part of the country, and so it should be fine. But as they will have agreed to through going through checkout, and terms and conditions, I do not guarantee my arrival on a rapid with slower priority mail. It's all there in terms and conditions. This person has a spider habitat kit. This person here is getting some housefly QB, feeding them to something or another. This one here, he's a regular customer. His uh, order is for an Okie fishing spider, a black hole spider on Google Kingdom. This one here has a variety of mine living products, as well as a roach. This one here, another spider habitat kit. We've got mantis habitat kit, and it just goes on down the line there. So, not huge orders. I have to ship a lot of these uh, low value orders, um, just to keep all of this afloat, just to make sure that I can pay my employees. I keep my minimum order down to $12. Um, and I even, during certain parts of the year, drop it down lower than that so that people can, you know, a lot of people just want a single roach or a single this or that because, um, you know, maybe they're new to the hobby and they just want to try it out or maybe they have limited space in their home. Uh, certainly no space for a dog or cat, but they could make room to have a small cage with a single mantis or roach or arachnid of some kind in it. And so I'm constantly shipping out lots of small orders and I'm grateful to have them because, um, you know, this is, this is my life. This is what I do. Hey, if you like me, give me one of those thumbs up, and please subscribe and hit the little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching.